Hey, it's Sam Beck here. Welcome to Lead Lock. Now, I'm excited about the software today. Down below, you'll be able to find out more about it. The price is increasing quite fast on this one, so I encourage you to go down below um, when you get the chance to and, and make sure you check out this early so you make a decision early on um, whether you're going to buy or not so you get the best price. Now, this software, what it does is, well, there's really two parts of it. And it's kind of an odd offer, but there's two parts that kind of fit together, um, which are a bit different than you usually see on a launch. So I thought it'd be very important to show you both of these parts. Now, first of all, you're getting access to the lead lock software. Now what this software does is it allows you to basically lock any sort of content you want on any document or inside of any website. So an example of this is this is a PDF document right here. Say for example that someone clicked off Facebook to download this document, you maybe got someone to download it off your website, and you want to make sure that you're able to capture a lead. Well sometimes when you're actually asking for the opt-in up front, there is a bit of, um, you know, the person giving you your, their email doesn't really know you, they don't know if your content is good. So one way you can solve that problem is by giving them the download up front and then taking them to a page like this or a PDF like this and giving them the option to read a bit of the PDF and then at the time that they've reached a certain part, then pop up your opt-in. So in this case, we go to the third page and what it does is that it pops up a email opt-in over top of the PDF. So the person, if they want to continue, would have to subscribe in, uh, in order to continue. Uh, again, if, if we're here as well, we could go click here to register. They could go ahead and they could register. Or if they scroll down, they're reading this document, at the third page, once again, when you're going on to tactic three, it pops over an opt-in asking the person to subscribe before they can continue to access the content. Now, what this does is it's going to increase the rate that people subscribe with you because it just makes sense. Perhaps someone's reading a document, they're liking the document, they go to the third page and then they have to subscribe. If they like the content already, they're going to subscribe. It gives you the chance to build trust with them and build a, a relationship with them. This is the first part of the software. Now the second part of the software is called List Authority. It's a training and as a, um, a, a second part to this offer today, you actually get white label rights to download these videos, use them in your own membership sites and um, sell them as your own as you want to. You can also get the content uh, yourself and, and go through it yourself. All of this is entirely white labeled and in your use. As you can see the videos, they're quite complete. Um, they're long. Uh, I believe they sell this course actively today as well. And if you are looking for course content, you want to be able to sell training or have training added into one of your membership sites, this is going to give you a um, a white label package on how to basically build a list. You can go through the training yourself, then you can go ahead and sell it to other people that might be interested in that as part of one of your membership sites or as part of you know an offer you might be offering in the future. Even if you wanted to, you could you know use Leadlock to generate leads and then from there go ahead and sell those new subscribers your training on how to build a list. So there's a few different options with this package today. So let me show you how the software works. Basically, we go to here, we get to title our campaign. Now, you don't have to use a document, that's the first thing. Uh, you know, you can use a document or you can use um, this off a website. The main way that they've been using it is through documents though. So um, first of all, here's how it works. You upload a social share image. Now this is featured here. This is the image that's gonna be updated on social media, on Facebook, on Twitter, on LinkedIn. It's the image that's going to grab people to click and download what it is that you have. Now, how could you use this? Well, you could actually use this image in your chat response campaigns. You could use this image in your um, updating campaigns over Facebook, get your you know people that are on Facebook to click and go to your document. Then all you need to do, and I'll upload a random image right now. Cool, I've added my chat response logo. Now I'm doing this as a, an example. You'd probably want to use Usine and put a big download button somewhere on here, download this guide or something like that. Then choose the title that's going to be there. Now the title is what will show up on Facebook as well. So say for example, one of the guides that I use frequently um, to generate leads, and it's helped me generate a couple of thousand leads since launching it, is 3,000 leads in 30 days. It's probably the 
the, the perfect, and, and it's actually available down below as one of these giveaways, you can actually use 3,000 leads in 30 days yourself to give away as a bonus with this offer today. Um, it's one of my po most popular guides, and um, you'll be able to, to download it and, and um, use it. So download uh, this guide to selling, uh, or to generating over 3,000 leads in 30 days. Uh, read this guide and if you like it, you can subscribe for more. You know, you could pre-sell the guide if you wanted to, something like this. And then um, all you need to do is upload the document. So I'm gonna grab the document and upload it right now. Okay, so the next step is after you've uploaded the file, you can see over here, you'll see a preview now. Right now it's saying loading PDF file, it's because it's quite a big file and over time it will load and you'll see a preview here depending on how big the file is, it may take a while to do that. Now, you can choose how you want to actually generate a lead. So whether someone is going to be scrolling and then the lead is gonna pop out, or whether someone's gonna be sliding across or it'll just slide across from the side on the first page. Now I'm gonna put it on scroll. I'm gonna say that no, they can't download the PDF. I could if I wanted to. I could say yes, and when someone clicked on the download up here, then they would be prompted. Actually, I'll do that as well. I can also choose to brand this, choose um, how my branding looks. I'm not gonna do that today, I don't think it's necessary because it's already done. And if I had a Facebook pixel I wanted to add into this, I could also do that as well. When you're ready, click next, and now it's time to create the lead pop locker. Now this locker, and you can see the previews loader now, this locker is gonna give us the ability to lock the page until someone actually opts in. I'm gonna say that the lead locker will pop up at page three, I'm gonna choose that it's going to be an autoresponder that's going to pop up. Now you can do all of this, you can get people to share um, on Facebook, for example, if you wanted to. So instead of having to send in their details, you could actually have them share on Facebook to get access. You could also have um, other different incentives to getting them to share as well, including go viral. So you could actually have them invite their friends in order to get access. And there's a number of other different campaigns in here as well. We're gonna stick with autoresponder integration today. We're gonna to choose our autoresponder, or we can grab our HTML code. Now in this case, to add your autoresponder, you need to select what kind of autoresponder you have and then add in your code. You can connect it up in the settings area. You can actually connect this up so you can automatically select your API integration. In this case, I haven't got that set up yet, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go HTML code integration. All right, I've grabbed my code that you can see in Aweber right here, and now what I'm doing is I'm taking it across to our application. I enter it in here, and now it's going to add this opt-in. I can also choose what kind of headline I want for this. I could adjust this as well as, uh, as I want to. Um, I can also choose to have a default design or I can customize this and have, say, log in with Facebook and capture the email that way as well. I can allow users to skip this step or I can force them to enter their details. Let's enter in a header. Uh, read the rest of this guide. Um, I'd probably say, add your email, add your email, well, to read the rest of this guide. I can customize the look and feel of it, then when I'm ready, I can click save, and then I'm done. Okay, so this has been integrated into my PDF. Now the next step is actually getting people to this page, and the way that we do that is this. We need to go back to manage our campaigns, now what we need to do is actually get our, um, our people or people that visit our website downloading this guide and generating that lead for us. So we click on preview and then here we've got a, different, a number of different options. We can install it to a Facebook tab. So this is going to be a page and people will scroll down this on a Facebook tab in order to get access to it and then um, the opt-in will pop up. We can use this URL. So if we were to load up this URL, for example, I'm gonna load up this URL in my dashboard right now and um, in my browser. And then as I scroll down here, check out what happened. So that's happened on my PDF guide. Now what I can do is I can also, if I wanted to embed this into a website, so when someone's reading on my website, I could do that, or I could actually go ahead and I could share this to Facebook right now, and as people go ahead, they click on it, they'll start reading, then I can start generating those leads. So um, a lot of different options that are available here, and as you can see, the software works really well, it does exactly what it says it does, and there's also a number of other locking features, not just email that you can use with the software that I didn't mention earlier. So um, really quite cool. 
All right, so that's the complete review of how this software works, what it's going to do for you. I hope it's clear now how you can use this in your business. I don't think it's a replacement to your opt-in. Uh, I think it's complementary and it's a new way of engaging people. Someone may not opt-in, but they might actually download your guide and read through and, and opt-in. And I would say what you'll have is you'll probably get a higher percentage of people opting in after downloading your guide than you would asking them to opt in before actually reading your guide because it just makes sense. I know my own behavior, I, I do this all the time. If someone, say if I'm watching a video for example and I wanna watch the rest of that video and then an ad pops up, I'll wait and I'll watch that ad in order to continue watching the video. If an opt-in popped up, I'd probably do the same, enter my opt-in in order to keep watching the video. So very smart, and this is how Leadlock works. Thanks for listening. This is Sam Becker. I'll talk to you again soon. See you later.